guys, I'm super excited to bring you this dancing on out tutorial. But before I start with this, I'd like to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers, everyone that joined up recently, and everyone that has been with me since the beginning. I appreciate you guys, it means so much to me. So I'm starting off with hair that has been um, blow dried. I dried my hair using the tension method. If you haven't seen the video, you could uh, definitely check it out. So for this um, tutorial, I'll only be using the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter um, Conditioner as my holding and moisturizing uh, products. Now you can use whichever um, products you use. Some people use um, gel or um, any other kind of um, thick holding um, product but I've noticed that the heavier the product is and the smaller um, your sections are the tighter curls you would get compared to if you use maybe a light product or if you have bigger sections then you have like a big loose curls so keep that in mind depending on what kind of um, look you're going for So I do not use oil while making um, my Bantu knots because I notice that whenever I use oil, um, it increases my drying time. And of course, since you know oil does, you know, um, lock in the moisture, and you know you're trying to dry your hair. So I advise you use um, minimal or no oil at all. So another important point to get a um, very nice bantu knot out is that you have to make sure that your hair dries completely because if it's not um, completely dried, it freezes up, um, interferes with the curls and not only that, the curls don't pop and they kind of fall. So if you have to go under the dryer or use a blow dryer, just do whatever um, you can to make sure it's dry. I'll just um, rub it on my hands and apply it and I'm loosening them. I'm going to start from the back. And when you're loosening it, just loosen it carefully so that it still um, maintains the curl. And I kind of use, okay, here it is. And I kind of use my hands to, you know, I guess swirl it the way I want it to be. So there it is. So I'll do that to the other ones. start um, fluffing it out. So just separate them and um, the more you separate the more volume you get so you separate it according to what kind of volume you're going for. I love about Bantu Knot Out is that you can do it on a variety of hair types. You could do it on permed hair, hair that has been flat ironed, blow dried hair, or even hair that is naturally straight and even on um, locks. You just have to know the appropriate holding um, product 
that will work for your hair type and I would suggest for some hair types it's just um, better to go under the dryer. So concerning natural hair, especially if you have kind of like my very um, tight curls, I would advise you blow dry your hair because I've noticed when I do Bantu knot out on my natural hair without blow drying, the curl pattern of my natural hair interferes with the Bantu knot um, curls. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe.